So I'm very excited to bring this information to you guys because I can't believe you're in the dark. You teased this earlier to me, and I have no idea where you're going with this. Okay. Um, there, uh, John is the biggest Alien fan that I know. Dun, Let's dun. just start off here. I love Alien. Um, he is even a defender of Alien Covenant. And Alien vs. Predators. <laughs> oh. I like Alien vs. Predator. So do I. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sweet movie. But um, Alien Covenant didn't do so well at the box office. But there is already a script written for the sequel to Alien Covenant that they have not produced yet. I don't know if they'll ever get the money for. I know overseas they just broke even. <clears throat> and with the whole uh, Disney buying Fox, I don't know if they'll ever do this movie. That's true. But I do have the script for the new Alien movie if they ever make it. <laughs> The title is called Alien Awakenings. Wow. wow. I thought they were already awake. And this is really all behind this? Yeah. Don't you mean okay. Alien Wokenings? <laughs> you woke, bro? <laughs> <Yeah>. Alien Fingerings? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm woke. Okay, so I'm just going to read this verbatim, and you, I, I want to hear you guys' reaction. Oh, boy. Tight. Okay. Following the events of Covenant, in which it was revealed the android David, played by Michael Fassbender, caused a genocide on the planet Paradise that wiped out the engineer population. Is this a spoiler? <laughs> it, oh, very much spoiler. <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> we can spoil Covenant. It doesn't matter. I'm it's never not a good movie. It, yeah. yeah. Uh, Awakening would find a group of engineers who survived the mass murder, making it their mission to extract revenge and kill David. What? Yeah, the engineers from Prometheus. Huh. Weird. Very weird. That's uh, weird. So others hmm. that survived? Yeah, because you know how they showed in a flashback how David just like crashed right. and killed that whole planet? Right. There were survivors, I guess. The engineers were first introduced in Prometheus and mm-hmm. are humanity's forerunners. The fight was expected to bring both parties to LV-426, the planet featured in Scott's original Alien, where wow. Sigourney Weaver's Ripley first encamped first encountered the xenomorphs plot description of awakening <laughs> indicates scott was planning to bring the entire franchise full circle with this next installment whatever went down in the battle between fastbenders david and the remaining engineers would probably give rise to the xenomorph population ripley eventually encountered hmm. the sequel would also bring fastbender back for his third alien movie whatever people think of scott's prequel films fastbender's performance has been the most acclaimed element I would, I would agree with that. Yeah. I think it's probably, it would probably be a good idea for Alien fans. I'm not a huge, I'm not huge into the lore of Alien, but I know like, isn't it, is it frustrating that they made these prequels and that they don't connect very n- neatly with like the original Alien movies? Not initially. Prometheus was actually, really, I, lo- I love Prometheus. Now that was a good enough start to something different other than the Alien species. But I feel like with Covenant especially, I don't think that was um, really Scott's original intentions with how that movie turned out. I think it was a lot of Fox producing, like, hey, we need lots of aliens in this film, or alien-esque. That's why they put alien in the title. Yeah. Mm. Like, I liked Prometheus for what it was, but the worst part of that movie was the end, where they showed, like, the birthing of a xenomorph. Yeah, just to tie it all together. Yeah. I don't like how he's trying to tie everything in a nice, neat little bow. I don't like that at all. Yeah, because it doesn't need to be done. Yeah. And uh, I think far as that script goes it's something different mm-hmm. it's better than another lost or stranded alien or human crew that has to go through alien torture and other people yeah plus when we left david he had a whole ship full of people to basically turn into xenomorphs at some point or not people but like, like a whole bunch of <clears throat> yeah i guess yeah, settlers yeah. that were yeah, all that's frozen right. that's true thousands of embryos of human and he mm-hmm. just brought on some aliens it was a hell of an ending it was yeah i liked that quite a bit but i don't know if i like the whole engineers that survived this like extinction that david tried to do and hunting david down that seems kind of stupid it sounds expensive which he, yeah, won't, I, he won't get the funding for i think yeah. that was actually uh, a good part about prometheus is like even though they did some sort of explanation of the engineers they didn't actually do a whole lot of it the most you got was is that uh, they had crash landed on this planet and they were doing testing with this like black tar crap. Yeah, I don't remember our initial thoughts, but did you guys like the alien variations in Covenant? Like the white one that was really weird, and then the final xenomorph at the end. No, the white one was super weird. 
where it's just like standing there until David comes in. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it. I like it how they take the aspect of whatever the host is. Yeah. It kind of transforms on what it, the xenomorph that it produces. But when you look at the other alien movies, like all the xenomorphs are the same that come out of the bed of people. And the best part of Covenant for me was everything until David showed up. Once he showed up and tried <clears> to like push his agenda and everything that happened in Prometheus and just combine everything yeah. into this universe, it just like fell down a cliff for me and I it never recovered at all. Like, like the ending is cool. But the hour that it took to get to that ending, yeah. I hated. But the, the beginning of the movie is fantastic. Yeah, it is. Even like the scene where they're like getting picked apart by the little creatures in the grass. Yeah, that scene's amazing. Yeah. Do, uh, do you guys feel like this gets into like the Predator territory where by explaining too much of it, you ruin the original? No, the Predator no? is way too campy. Okay. And uh, Covenant kept itself serious enough to where... Uh, they can <clears throat> they can have fun with their um, with their franchise without uh, mm -hmm. dumbing it down like the Predator did. Where where does this tie in with humans having the Predator super suit? <laughs> Do <you think laughs> I don't that? know. Where I do, want to know because there's a concurrent circle coming back around to aliens and predators once again fighting when first um, each other. <clears throat> after Covenant, though, I wasn't sure if he, uh, Scott had it in him to do anything good with Alien anymore. It's, I was really, it, I was really disencouraged. I still liked the movie, but him having the directing ability to take it somewhere new and exciting. Ugh. See, Scott has an eye to make everything in this franchise look gorgeous. So yeah. I don't know if I necessarily want him to go away from this. I just want there to be a strong script. And in Covenant, I don't think there was a strong script at all. No, and not only that, what he just announced, he wants to do a Gladiator 2. Yeah, no. I don't know how uh, that's going to fly at all. Why can't he leave that alone? Well, there's like six Avatar movies in production. <laughs> Why not just ruin everything? Like, Ridley's getting old, and he just wants to play his greatest hits again. It's what it seems like to me. Yeah, like, the dude yeah. is over 80 years old. Don't ruin one of my favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't remember his name, but take, like, just another sci-fi buff, like uh, the guy from District 9. Neil Blomkamp? Yeah. Well, or, he had a sequel to Alien that uh, got nixed because right. of Prometheus. Mm. Right. Or oh, what's his, um, the gentleman who did Blade Runner now is doing um, a new sci-fi film. Dune. Yeah, that's it. Denny oh, Villeneuve. Yeah. He would be amazing for Alien. Yeah, he's got some great imagery. And Alien plays a lot on imagery. It doesn't have to be gory as hell as Covenant was. But Prometheus, says, Prometheus wasn't gory. It was really more body manipulation and weird body scenarios. Which was, an, I think that's the fine line that Alien needs to be at. It was mysterious sci-fi. Yes. And oh, it was like Fantastic Four when their <laughs> bodies start morphing. <laughs> yep, that's it. Body you got horror, it. Yeah. The worst thing about Prometheus was the removal of the alien from the baby womb scene. Yeah. And that was just more disturbing, I think, so than it was scary. And I think that, I don't think that was oh, the worst part. I liked that quite a bit in Prometheus. You thought it was the worst part? I think it was the most disturbing part. Oh, yeah. Sure. That was tense as shit, man. Sure. Yeah, it was, it was disgusting. Yeah. Well. Like, that fine line of, like, that's where I think alien should be. Like, sci-fi, a little bit of violence there. I, liked, I actually like the gene splicing that kind of goes on in these movies. But when it goes... I think what Alien did back in what the 80s and 90s as far as horror and violence is good back then. To give us a new twist now. And I'm not sure if Scott can do that anymore. I don't want him to tie a bow neatly on this franchise. He's not going to get the opportunity to. That's the shitty part. Yeah, I don't think Disney's going to let this happen. No, not <laughs> at all. And I don't know. Alien could be dead for all we know. No. Unless they sell the rights. No. They, uh, so the whole thing <laughs> with these iconic... I said the same thing with Predator. It's like it's such a cool and classic alien design. Yeah. And it, the the xenomorph is like the iconic alien design. So mm -hmm. there's no way they ever let it die. Whoever holds the rights is going to drive this thing into the ground eventually, just like <laughs> they do with everything else you love. Would you rather have an alien reboot? No. 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 Yeah, do it. I don't know what I want. That's the thing. With Disney at the helm, I have no idea what I want. You want you want a snarky team of Marines going out to space <laughs> to kill a ton of aliens that are missing their like killer claws and shit. Game over, man. Yeah. You want you want someone to say that line <laughs> in a different context, and then their guy their guy says, "What was that? Oh, nothing, man. I'm just playing my Atari over here." <laughs> I want yeah. the aliens to crash land and uh, meet up with Jack Sparrow. 
Uh, well, that would be the, the aliens best. crash landing <laughs> Halo. So, one of the aliens that crash land on the planet from uh, Space Jam. <laughs> they just start ripping apart Bugs Bunny. <laughs> just destroy that world. Monsters versus Xenomorphs. <laughs> I mean, if Alien Predators can do a crossover, Aliens can bridge crossover with anything now. I know. I'm trying to think of Disney IPs to cross over with. Oh, uh, yeah. Lilo and Stitch, maybe. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the worst. The laziest. They start breeding Stitch with Xenomorphs. <laughs> Has Disney- That'd be uh, sweet, actually. <laughs> Has Disney gone on record to say they're going to do anything with rated R films? They haven't said shit. Mm. I know with their new streaming service, there's not going to be anything R rated on there. Right. So I mean, I they, don't know. they produce them, but it's under different uh, like headers, like, like Vista. studio heads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I, I think they can like take these franchises that they know will make money and give them out to their you know other names. Will Fox keep their name? I hope so. But I don't know. Like, if 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 Disney was smart and they want to keep the Disney brand family friendly, they'll push all their hard stuff to 20th Century Fox. Mm, yeah, and they might even even use Fox as like a streaming service for just like that type of brand, like Simpsons, Family Guy, what it is now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have, people the, will pay for that. I don't. Yeah, I don't think they have any reason to dissolve the Fox brand at all. I, I that makes a lot of sense to just put their more mature stuff on that service. Yeah, but back to that script. I don't know if that would fly. I'm not sure if I trust Scott to write a script anymore for Aliens. It sounds batshit crazy. <laughs> and it's not in this article that I read, but um, one of the podcasts I listened to uh, dug deep. Because the this story comes from the co-writer <clears throat> of Covenant. Oh, really? And I don't know how, because it wasn't in there, but Jesus Christ is supposed to come into <laughs> Alien Awakening. What? I know. <laughs> I know. Come on, man. Make Swear this fucking God. movie, please. Swear to Holy God, shit, not making please that make up. the movie. Sounds terrible. Please make this fucking movie. <laughs> in, in Prometheus, it seemed very biblical at the beginning with all the engineers. Creation of life. Yeah. And, yeah what is it the really afterlife. did. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather see Scott or... <laughs> does Scott do Prometheus? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather see him do more variations of what this... Uh, what virus does to mutations and like that giant squid thing that was in that room mm-hmm. after it was removed, like all that imagery, the worms exploding out of people or going into their arms, all that messed up stuff. Yeah, like just weird sci-fi shit. Yeah. Weird sci-fi stuff. Do that and leave aliens alone for a little bit. I'm okay with that. Covenant was just a little bit too much. Add Jesus. Anything's possible. I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs>